Once upon a time, there was a father wolf who went out into the woods to hunt for his family. When in the woods, he suddenly heard a sound. Looking around, he noticed a tiny baby in between the bushes. This is a human baby, said the wolf with a big surprise. He took the baby home out of harm's way. Watching from a distance, Shere Khan the tiger got very upset because he was the one who stole the baby from the humans. Mother Wolf and her cubs love this little baby very much. We will call him Mowgli from now on, said Mother Wolf. From that day on, Mowgli started to live with his wolf siblings in the woods. Mother Wolf took very good care of him, like he was one of her own. In a short time, Mowgli became friends with all the animals. He played games and hung around the trees with them. At the same time, he got to know the jungle. During all that time, Shere Khan, the tiger, kept watching Mowgli from a distance and waited for an opportunity to grab and kidnap him. One day, the wise wolf Akila, Baloo the bear and Bagheera the panther came together and started to talk about Mowgli. Human babies are very smart. Let's bring him up like a jungle boy. Baloo and Bagheera, you will protect him and teach the rules of the jungle, said Akila. Years went by fast. Baloo the bear was very attentive with his new student. He taught him how to look for nuts and honey climbing the trees. Mowgli listened to Baloo's teaching with all ears. Every day he climbed a higher tree and started to feed himself. Baloo also taught him how to understand the sounds of the jungle. He was proud of his student. Mowgli was running very fast and swimming very good. And Bagheera taught him how to identify the traps humans set up for the animals and how to avoid them. One day, a cub wolf ran into one of these traps. Shere Khan the tiger wanted to hunt this cub wolf and make him his lunch. But acting before the tiger, Mowgli saved the cub from the trap. Shere Khan the tiger lost once again. Baloo also taught Mowgli the magic words he can use when there is danger in the jungle. In a very short time, Mowgli learnt these words by heart. Mowgli would not be harmed by any animal in the jungle. Realising that he was not going to be able to catch Mowgli alone, Shere Khan went next to Banderlogs, the most dangerous animals in the jungle. He told them about Mowgli. If Mowgli teaches us everything he knows, we'll become the wisest animals in the jungle. One day when Mowgli was making a shelter to protect himself from the storm, the Bandar Logs were watching from where they were hiding. They decided to kidnap him when the opportunity came. At sunset, Mowgli was kidnapped by two monkeys and brought into the hills where the jungle was at its thickest. The little boy found himself in the middle of the Bandar Logs. When Mowgli realised that he was kidnapped by the monkeys, he started to think. He had to reach Baloo and Bagheera and let them know. Suddenly, he noticed Chill the Vulture flying up above in the sky. He remembered the magic words Baloo taught him. We are the same blood, you and I. Hearing these words, Chill the Vulture immediately realised that Mowgli wasn't a stranger and that he was in trouble. I'm little Mowgli! Could you let Baloo and Bagheera know that I'm kidnapped? Of course I will, Mowgli, answered Chill the Vulture and flew off to deliver the message to Mowgli's friends. Bandar Logs brought Mowgli to their cold cave, the Monkey Town. 
This place was a place in the deep jungle that humans abandoned years ago. Even though Mowgli attempted to run away, the Banderlogs outnumbered and caught him. Finding out about Mowgli's kidnapping, Balu and Bagheera asked Ka, the giant snake, for help to save Mowgli. They all came to the monkey town and hid behind a giant statue. From their hideout, they could see Mowgli and hundreds of monkeys around him. They started to wait for the perfect moment to take Mowgli out of there. At the right moment, Ka said, Now is the time! Let's go! Bagheera silently moved to catch the monkeys. Then he started to punch the monkeys surrounding Mowgli with his powerful claws. Banderlogs ran around screaming with fear and one of them called the others for help. Suddenly Bagheera was surrounded with lots of monkeys. Some other monkeys grabbed Mowgli and put him in a room with closed walls. Mowgli could hear Bagheera fighting with the monkeys. He remembered the water storage under the ruins of the city and he knew that the monkeys were afraid of water. Bagheera, run and jump in the water! Bagheera ran and jumped straight into the water. Balu was also attacked by the monkeys. They started to fight and Balu was hitting the banderlogs with his front claws to protect himself. He was trying his best but there were too many of the banderlogs. And it was impossible for Balu to fight them by himself. And Bagheera was helplessly watching him from the water, feeling very bad that he could not help his friend. When Balu was struggling with the monkeys, suddenly Ka came out. When Ka started to hit all the monkeys with his giant tail, the monkeys ran away with fear. The monkeys were always afraid of Ka. None of them could face him in a fight. So when they started to run away in the depths of the jungle, Balu was finally free. But when Ka opened his mouth and blew, all the monkeys stood still. Their voices suddenly went away and it suddenly became all quiet. Taking this opportunity, Bagheera jumped out of the water. Mowgli yelled from the tower he was trapped in. I am here, trapped in the tower! Ka swung his mighty tail and managed to break the walls of the tower. Freed from the walls, Mowgli threw himself out. Balu hugged him with love. You okay, Mowgli? Yes, I am. But I'm very hungry and tired. You all have risked your lives to save me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mowgli was also very happy to see Ka on his side. I owe you my life, Ka. Thank you. Mowgli, Balu and Bagheera said goodbye to Ka and head to their homes. Shere Khan the tiger realized that he could never harm someone who had such powerful friendships and moved back into the depths of the jungle, never to return. A long time passed and Mowgli grew up to become a young man. One day he went close to the village where humans lived. He met a woman who immediately recognized him. She realized that he was the son which was kidnapped by a tiger many years ago. She put the little boy next to her in Mowgli's arms. Mowgli was very surprised because this little boy was looking very much like Mowgli's own childhood. But then he also realized that this little boy was his brother and the lady was his mother. Balu, Bagheera and Ka were all watching them. From now on you'll be next to your family, Mowgli. Whenever you need us, you know the magic words. You are our brother. Don't forget how much we love you. Goodbye, dear Mowgli. His friends said their farewells to Mowgli. Mowgli lived happily ever after with his family but never did he forget the ones who raised him, his family in the jungle.
Once upon a time, there lived an old couple in an old small shack next to a forest. They were living a happy and peaceful life. Their only regret was not having a child of their own. One day, when the old lady was making cookie dough in the kitchen, her husband came in. Darling, what are you cooking today? Oh, my darling, I'm baking a gingerbread man today. The old lady kneaded the dough and cut a gingerbread man shape. After putting it in the oven, she sat down and started to wait for the gingerbread man to bake. When she could smell the delicious cookie all around the air in the kitchen, she put on her oven gloves and took the gingerbread man out. Now it was time to decorate it. She made eyes out of raisins and a cute nose using candy, and then she used some cream to make his hair and clothes, and lastly she used cherries to make some buttons for him. She had a look at her masterpiece and said, "My gingerbread man looks beautiful, but I feel like something is missing." The old lady looked at him again and, "Oh, his mouth! I forgot to make his mouth." She drew a mouth on the gingerbread man's face with the cream. "Oh yes, now you are complete, my gingerbread man." At that moment, something unexpected happened. Thank you. But but how can it be? You are talking. Gingerbread man suddenly stood up and started running. Yeah, and I can also run. The gingerbread man jumped from the kitchen bench to the chair, then to the ground, and started running fast to the kitchen door to the garden. Come back! Come back! The old lady yelled. The gingerbread man began talking whilst he was running. Yeah. Run, run, as fast as you can, but nobody can catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. The old lady got out to the garden and started running after the gingerbread man. The man looked out the window and saw his wife running and yelled, "Hey, where are you running?" The old lady answered to her husband whilst running, "My gingerbread man ran away. I'm trying to catch him." The old man was speechless. The old lady ran, but the gingerbread man was so fast that it was impossible to catch him. After a short while, the gingerbread man came across a ranch. A grazing cow noticed him. Ah, oh, what a nice cookie! I should catch and eat him. The cow also began to run after the gingerbread man. Wait! Don't run! I'm gonna eat ya! Yeah, run, run as fast as you can, and all ladies also trying to catch me, but nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. The old lady and the cow were running after the gingerbread man, and at this time, a pig noticed the gingerbread man. A gingerbread man, true to my taste buds. Wait, and I will catch you. The gingerbread man answered the pig whilst he was running. Yeah, run, run as fast as you can, and old lady and a cow are also trying to catch me, but nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. While they were running, the gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow, and the pig behind him, a chicken noticed the gingerbread man while looking for some food. That has to be my lunch. So the chicken tagged along. Run as much as you want, gingerbread man! I'm gonna catch you! Bark, bark, bark. Yeah, run, run as fast as you can. An old lady, a cow, and a pig could not catch me. Neither can you. Nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man in front, the old lady, cow, the pig, and the chicken. They all continued to run. But the gingerbread man was getting more and more further ahead from the others. The gingerbread man was so happy and very proud of himself. I'm the brightest and the fastest gingerbread man in the world. Yes, that's me. Nobody can catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. When he looked ahead, 
Soon the gingerbread man saw that he was coming across a river, and he stopped because he knew that water could make him melt away. Oh no! Oh, what now? The old lady, cow, pig, and the chicken were close now. Right at that moment, a shifty fox appeared from behind a tree. I know how to swim. If you want, I can help you. The gingerbread man thought about it. What if you eat me? You don't have to worry. I don't want to eat you. I just want to help you get across. The gingerbread man trusted the shifty fox and jumped on his tail, holding on as tight as he could. The fox jumped in the river and began to swim. Meanwhile, the old lady, cow, pig, and the chicken came to the edge of the river and saw the gingerbread man crossing the river on the back of a fox. Helplessly, they watched them go, knowing they could not catch him anymore. The river began to get deeper, and the water started to rise. Hey, fox! Keep your tail up. I almost got wet. Up on my back, it's safer. The gingerbread man hopped on the fox's back. They swam for a while, but as the water got deeper, the fox's back began to sink in the water. I'm afraid that you'll get wet. Why don't you jump on my head, where it's a bit higher? The gingerbread man climbed up on his head. The fox continued to pursue his plan and dipped his head down in the water. The water has risen too much. Why don't you get on my nose? It's higher. So the gingerbread man got on top of his nose. Right when they were about to reach the shore, the fox tipped his nose, flipping the gingerbread man into the air and opened his mouth. The gingerbread man was going to fall into his mouth, and the fox was going to eat him. But it didn't work. While the gingerbread man was in the air, a crow flying right above them caught the gingerbread man with his beak. The fox just stood there, looking with his mouth open. The gingerbread man waited for the crow to fly a little further and asked, "Do crows eat ginger cookies?" "Yep." When the crow opened his beak to speak, the gingerbread man fell down and began to run as fast as he could. Yeah, run, run as fast as you can, and old lady, a cow, a pig, a chicken, a fox, and a crow also tried to catch me, but nobody can because I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man kept on running and did not stop. If you see a gingerbread man pass you by running, do not try to catch him, because he is the gingerbread man, and nobody can dare catch him.